Happening today, the community of Wynn will rally nearly one year after a deadly tornado. A commemoration is set to be held to highlight recovery efforts and how they're coming along in their temporary building. Wake Up Central's Journey Taylor has more on what to expect. Journey? Yeah, good morning, Karen and Hayden. We are just weeks away from March 31st, a date known very well across the state. An EF3 tornado killed five people, four of which in Wynn, but the high school was also severely damaged. Take a look at your screen. This is the day damage from that day. The tornado that hit Wynn High School just hours after students were sent home. The school was just one of the two high schools across the entire county, impacting hundreds of students and today's event looks to allow community members the opportunity to visit the temporary high school campus and update the community on their re continued recovery efforts. Take a listen though to what the superintendent, Dr. Kenneth Moore, had to say days after the devastation when looking at the bigger picture. Building is a building. It's not a life, and I'm just thanking the Lord that we got our kids out. It's massively important for us to get to some kind of normalcy. It gives hope to our kids and our community. We're going to cry when we need to cry, but then we're going to laugh and we're going to say, okay, we're good, we're okay. We're going to come out of this, and we're going to do it together. Attendees are expecting to hear from more again today, as well as the high school principal and several of the students. That commemoration is today at 1 p.m. at the temporary campus. THV 11 will also have a crew there this afternoon, and we will bring you the latest from the press event and our evening shows at 5 and 6 with highlights on what's next for the district as it rebuilds. For now, I'm Jordan Taylor for Wake Up Central. Mm, hard to believe it's already been almost it a is, year. It is hard to believe, and, and just that devastation, how, how far they've come. Thank you, Journey.